Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Trailmakers. We are currently on the quest for speed. We've broken the land speed record, the air speed record, the sea speed record, the boat speed record. They're definitely different. We created a sonic boom without even moving and last time we sort of created a supersonic helicopter. But today we are going to be thinking outside the box and we're going to be trying to make a supersonic jetpack. Um, now I've never I've never made a jetpack in this game so this could be interesting. I uh, figured this level might be quite a good place to start. There's like there's stuff in the sky up there, there's hoops we can try and fly through. Uh, so first off I guess let's get building. So for a jetpack the cockpit is where we want to start but we don't want a normal cockpit. I think we want one of these, an operator seat. So basically our little dude will be strapped in there with some joysticks and then we should be good to go. Right next up we're gonna want some propulsion so I don't know perhaps a mini thrust. I don't want to go like overboard at the start. Yeah, okay, we've got we got some mini thrusters on the back. And uh, then we, we want something to stabilize. Now, I found this, a gimbal jet. So this is a jet that always fires downwards. Uh, so I think that will, like, that will help us stay flat, sort of. Now, what I might do, I'm not sure whether I want these, like, above the jets or below them. So what I might do, I might sort of put one down there for now, see if that works at all. I imagine I want that above the jets, right? And like we probably want it like in line with our mass. Can I? Is there a way to see center of mass? I don't think there is. Of course, we're going to want to add like steering and stuff later on. But I reckon let's just try this. <laughs> oh, it looks terrible. So, Mr. Man, are you ready for the first ever jetpack launch of RCE Industries? Uh, yeah, didn't think so. Right. Okay. So let's. Oh, my goodness. Are you okay? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we are actually going up. Uh, but yeah, that that wasn't terrible. My man, my man definitely survived. All right, so this time let's move the gimbal to up there and see if that stops us flipping about. I feel like it's it's our center of mass that's the problem here. Oh, no, no, that's better. Oh, this is really good. All right, so I still feel like we're sort of, we're a bit back heavy, aren't we? So if I try and like, if I put the jets there, I mean, really, I want this gimbal like properly on top. Is that going to work? Uh, not going to lie, that looks pretty efficient to me right now. <laughs> Like, if someone said build the most efficient thing, I'm pretty sure that's what I would build. It also looks like he's wearing, like, a like a brain cap. Or perhaps he's getting his hair done, like, at the at the, at the hairdressers or something. Right, anyway, let's see how this... Oh, look at this. Look at this. Okay, so I feel like I've actually conquered the jetpack pretty, pretty easily here. Basically, when we fire the gimbal, it, like... Yeah, just like self rights us. So I guess it's a bit hard to move forward and backwards. So whilst I can sort of rotate, we're sort of, we're stuck with not that much movement. So let's try and add some movement to our jet. And we'll come in for a soft landing. Ready? Oh, <laughs> nearly. All right, so first off in mechanical, I think we probably want like, do we want rotating servos? Like if I shove them on the side like that, <laughs> sort of looks like a wheelchair now. If I, if I configure these, if I turn the speed like... Wait, you can get minus speed? What does minus speed do? And to go forward, we want W. Yep, to go backwards, we want S. So that's good. Then we'll copy to this side. And then just swap the controls, S and W. And then I've added the jets back to the side. I'm actually going to I'm gonna get rid of those on the back. Now I, need, I need to connect this gimbal still. So I'm going to use an extremely aerodynamic block. I'm also going to configure this gimbal to be like shift or something. So I can sort of tell it when I want it to like hold us upright, if that makes sense. So basically, if we want to, if we want to use the gimbal, we hold that. And then look, we're going, we're sort of going up because we got the gimbal running. Yeah, you can see the rotation is pretty slow. I think I need to, I need to do the speed back up. Probably back to like default. Oh yeah, that's much better. So look, you can see when I move the engines, they proper move now. Um, I might actually want to make the angle a bit more and then I can sort of, maybe I can set them up. Oh, can you give multiple controls to like things? I want it so if I go left, like one goes forwards, one goes backwards. Is that possible? Yeah, sadly, doesn't it like I can give multiple controls, which is a bit, a bit of a shame. Yeah, but next up, I need to, I need to think about trying to give this thing some speed. So I guess first off, if I just replace these mini thrusters, I think a Dragon Jet. They're pretty much the, the most powerful rocket engines in this. So if we do that, perhaps we want to move them up a little bit as well. Now, I feel like, I feel like I need some like landing gear or something. Yeah, what if we try that? That actually looks sort of decent in my opinion. Granted, I did build it, but you know. Anyway, let's just fly and see how we get on. Oh, look at this. That is a jetpack. I've literally made a jetpack now. Look, I'll prove it. I'll prove it. We'll go. We'll fly through this hoop. All right, ready? Ready? Yes. 
through the hoop. All right, for my next trick, I'll be landing on this skyscraper quarter pipe thing. He says, not very confidently. Nailed it. Oh, dear. <laughs> right, land, 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 land. Okay, so maybe it still needs a bit of work. Right, and I've also I've just thought of a way that I can I can add the extra movement. So if I move that that way and that that way, then we've got an extra gap, which means I can just copy another servo in there and another one over there. So if I want to spin left, I want the left one to go backwards, right? So D and then A. I think that's right. I feel like these ones I will want to reduce the angle, so I might just half that down to 40 as well. All right, so we're in the air, so A does that. Sort of work. Oh, it's very, oh, it's very crazy. <laughs> oh, no, it's ruined my forwards and backwards. Too many joints. Yeah, you can see, like, the left one's sort of staying still. The right one's moving like anything. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, okay, so we probably we probably can't have that movement left and right, sadly. Oh, that's, that's actually quite annoying. Um, but in terms of speed, it looks like we're up to, like, 140 miles an hour. So let's just get back to the ground where we can finally fix this thing. I mean, we actually fall faster than it went, which is a bit sad. The double joints didn't seem to work. Oh, that's actually a shame. Still, we've probably got enough movement with this. I'm not I'm not going to lie. I think we're going to be good. Uh, so first things first, I probably want to add like a few more engines and see, see how that helps us. Oh, wait, no, no, I fixed it. I fixed it. Right, so now, now I have actually, I think I just, I did the four, like, joints in the wrong order. But now they're completely symmetrical. That's forward. That's backward. That's to go left. Whoa! <laughs> and then that's to go right. I definitely need to reduce the left and rightness. They are way too sensitive. But that's, that, that's actually, that's working. We definitely have a bit of steering. Now let's just see, can we land with our landing gear? Yes, e yes, definitely land <laughs> Right, here we go. With a bit of tweaking, I think we've got the steering down. So yeah, I reckon let's fly up to these islands. Come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Oh no, we bounced off. We bounced off. Our legs are too springy. Oh no, we've lost an engine. We've lost an engine. <laughs> land, 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 land. Yes. Yes. No. Uh, to be fair though, pretty good landing. I mean, I got where I want to. Uh, what is that, by the way? It's like loads of names. It sort of looks like a, like a gravestone. <laughs> Are these all the, like, the jetpack pioneers that died before me? Um, and by the way, yes, I do realize that just holding space is, like, a way better jetpack than I've built. But that's not the point. You can't break the sound barrier with that. Whereas this, I'm fairly confident we we will be, maybe, potentially. Uh, so I guess first things first, we want to add some more engines. So front, back. So now we got this. We should be, like, way more powerful. At least three times more powerful. So I guess let's see what our speed goes up to. Oh, it is flying. It is flying. Yeah, I'd say about 200-ish this thing is achieving. All right, now we're just going to get down. We're quite high in the air. And uh, this jetpack, it wasn't actually, it wasn't built to go downwards very easily. All right, 200 mile an hour is good. I feel like we're, we're probably wasting like parts with these landing gear. Like we're not going to be, we haven't made a successful landing. So let's just scrap that off. We are not landing. Um, I sort of want to make this a bit more aerodynamic, like... If we were to rotate this, like, it's mainly going to be going that direction. So you can see aerodynamics. We've got some some major red aerodynamics there. So what I'm thinking, I think I could just cover them with these very aerodynamic blocks. No, extremely aerodynamic blocks. Get it right, Matt. Because if I do that sort of thing, then it's covered. And then to connect them, I literally, I can just copy like that. And like shove that there. And then that's, that's done. That's all connected. And that is... That is pretty damn aerodynamic, except for the front. Copy that down. So basically, we've got loads of triangles on the front. I mean, I probably want to copy that one down to the front again. Right, now we're showing all green. That's actually... Oh, no, we're not. We're not showing green. Okay, that front one is pointless. Because look, can you see there's like a gap there? So this front one actually does nothing. So I may as well delete that. Okay, so aerodynamics, pretty good. I could cover the engines. I feel like they're probably fine, to be honest. Uh, let's just see how this flies. I think we might have too much weight on the top now. I don't think the gimbal is working very well. I could try adding another gimbal or two. But oh god, oh god, yeah. <laughs> so look when I try and move when I try and move my engines now. Oh It's just carnage. It's carnage. I think that gimbal definitely has to go like on top. Although I will try just adding two underneath just to see. No, it's not it's not good. It's not good. Yeah, I think gimbals they they definitely need to go on top. Oh, yeah, this is better. I got two gimbals on. Now, let's see the speed. Oh, look at the speed. 
All right, we're going 230, 240, 250. Okay, we're up about 250. Let's try and get back down. So basically, I think I just want to add engines like down. So if I copy those down there, they're not attached. And you would think as well, putting jet emissions straight into the intake of another one uh, probably wouldn't work well. But uh, in this game, it, it loves it. So to attach these without any aerodynamic negative benefits, we're going to use one of these, a flat connector 1x3, because basically we can literally just shove these on the front, give them a bit of a rotate, and look, then it connects those blocks there, which perfectly spans that gap. So if I copy over this side, move it that way. Nice, we're all connected. Look at this guy, he's so brave. You can see we got the four gimbals there. They're not quite like, this isn't a symmetrical vehicle right now. Uh, but let's see if it's any more stable going up. Oh, seems it. So we're heading up 250, 200, and about 60 miles an hour. That's decent. Let's head back down. And then you know the drill. More power. Oh boy, that's a lot of power. That is a lot of power. Okay, you ready for this, Mr. Man? This could be, this could be a little bit scary. So gimbal's on and then lift off. Oh, you're so brave. He is so brave. So looking at the speedo, we've cracked 300. We got to like 320 and then it gets a bit unstable again. I know this is like sacrilege in trail makers, but if I remove those. So aerodynamics is now completely shot, but I think we've got we've got all of our movement back. So I should be able to steer a bit. Oh God, oh God, I don't think that helped. Right, okay, so 330 miles an hour. Oh, and then it decides. Nah, I don't, I don't like going straight up. Um, but yeah, way, way more stable without all the aerodynamics for some reason. So let's add some more engines. And I'm sort of thinking maybe do I want to like make this a little bit wider? Sod it. Let's just go. Let's just go longer for now. So that's twice as much power. Does it mean twice as much speed? Boosh. Only one way to find out. We're leaning forwards. 400. Okay. I feel like at such high speeds, I need to, I need to tweak my, my settings. So the angle we actually want that to move at is probably like 20. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's way more stable. So we're up to 410 miles an hour in a jetpack, much to this guy's disappointment. And actually we're falling at 180 miles an hour. <laughs> anyway, let's double the power again. And then I might think about making these a bit wider. I don't think I want to be too long. Oh, can you imagine being that bloke, being strapped to that many engines? Right, anyway, lift off. We've cracked 500 miles an hour. Things are getting a little bit unstable. Oh dear, oh dear. All right, I tell you what, I tell you what, I've had a thought to make this a bit more stable. What if we add like little little tail fins down here? So yeah, now we've got fins on the bottom. That might help us sort of stay levelish because then I can do the forward and backwards. The fins are hopefully stopping me rolling left and right. And yeah, we've cracked 500 miles an hour. 530, oh, and then, then we lost it, okay. I feel like the speed was maxing out anyway. All right, so I've thought outside the box. I've added loads of engines. They don't actually like it. They're like jiggling all over the place. The, the top is all the way up there. So I do actually need to jetpack into my jetpack, which is sort of ironic. Um, but here we are at the top of it, ready, ready to lift off. We've got the gimbals firing and then boosh, we are away. Right, and then annoyingly, I think because I've added the jets to like one side in the middle, uh, we can't we can't steer anymore because it's not even. We got to 650, 660 miles an hour. So yeah, extra jets definitely helping. Um, speed, but not control. All right, so I've made this five rockets wide. You can see we're up to 375 pieces out of our 700 limit. Uh, so what I might do, I might just add some more length. All right, so now we have this. <laughs> Oh, it does not look stable. Let's see how this goes. So up to the top, jump in. I can't even get the camera to the bloke. He's so he's so high up, right? So gimbal's on and then fire. Oh, look at the frame rate. We're down to 13 frames a second. <laughs> too many engines, too many engines. Yes, Sonic Boom. We did it. <laughs> 15 frames a second. We could even crack a thousand miles an hour. Yes, the 1,000 mile an hour jetpack. Okay, well, that is absolutely a win. Let's try and get another sonic boom. There it is. I and mean, this thing does actually, like, steer fairly well. Like, I'm going forward. Let's try and spin that way. There we go. Spin around that way. Yeah, so overall, I say that is definitely a jetpack. And it's definitely supersonic. I didn't cheese it like the helicopter. Uh, it just sort of wants to break the game for whatever reason. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and supersonic jetpacks. Catch you guys next time. Bye.